Today, I'm gonna to give you three tips to improve your Olympic lifts. Get up and get down, get up and get down. Hey guys, thanks for watching stopping by the YouTube channel. Today, I am joined by Olympian Chad Vaughn. Now, Chad, what are your three favorite tips for improving our Olympic lifts, snatch and clean? Yeah, absolutely. My three favorite tips, ones that I implement myself every time I snatch or clean. So we are talking about the snatch and the clean. We'll do another one for the jerk later as well. But um, to this day, every, every single workout I do, this is part of my kind of warm up as I'm building up for weight. So it's about technique maintenance, but it's also about helping you develop and change some bad habits and some technical issues that you may have. Um, number one, is doing you know some of your warm-up reps barefoot you know snatching and cleaning now if you are compensated in your catch in a squat clean or a squat snatch then you can do just a couple of those sets barefoot but go ahead and just do power um, but if you can at all do a squat clean or a squat snatch with bare feet it's going to be very beneficial you're going to learn a more stable foot uh, throughout the pull of your lift and in the catch uh, and everything else like that as well um, next is pausing above the knee for some of your warm-up reps and the last one is adding a pause squat in between some of your snatch and clean warm-up reps, all right? So that first one, um, as you're barefoot here, Aaron, you're gonna show us a couple cleans. And also with uh, correct toes on, our big thing that Chad and I love to use the correct toes for is to really help undo what our weightlifting shoes often do to us because they're so narrow. We want to help teach our toes to spread out and enhance our foot stability. So this can be a very helpful thing as well. Absolutely, so Aaron's just gonna show us a couple cleans here barefoot. And once again, the way that we would, would program this is say the first two to three warm up sets of any cleans or any snatches that you're performing in your program, just go ahead and leave those weightlifting shoes off, leave those socks off as well. We want to get that tactile feedback from being completely barefoot. As Aaron said, correct toes are a great addition to that as well but just to help you learn that more stable foot, help you give yourself the opportunity to uh, strengthen the foot. And also it's a really great exaggeration, um, meaning it's making your clean and your snatch a little bit harder. Definitely. So you go through those few, those few sets, those few reps barefoot, put those weightlifting shoes on, um, your positions and your squat, your receiving position are gonna feel better than they would otherwise, Definitely. okay? Now, the next one is pausing above the knee. And Chad's gonna do these because he has his weightlifting shoes on. Yeah. Pausing above the knee for the first uh, three to five warm up sets on the first one to two reps. If you're doing a set of three, maybe you do one or one or uh, the first and or the second rep with a pause above the knee. If you're just doing two, then do the first rep with the pause above the knee and then do a regular one. But before the first three to five warm up sets, you're gonna pause above the knee. This is about helping you. Uh, learn a better position there. This is a critical transition point within the pull of the snatch and the clean. Um, also to help you maybe correct a toe lift in the middle of your lift, help you to learn that stable foot position. Um, make the lift a little bit harder as well as opposed to having all that momentum from the floor, you're stopping it at the knee and it's just gonna help you warm up in that regard as well, all right? And if I was doing a set of two, I would do the first one with a pause and then go ahead and do regular on the second. So that's number two, okay? A little out of breath, but number three, uh, we're gonna add a pause in between some of your warm up reps. Again, I said th first three to five warm up sets on the uh, pause above the knee. We can do the same thing here. First three to five warm up sets. I'm gonna do one snatch, one overhead squat with a five to 10 second pause, and then one snatch at the end. What it is is it's basically a drill to help you receive the bar better, depth wise, foot position wise, prime your body to be able to receive that bar better on that last snatch of that set, okay? Keeping the bar overhead. Maintaining, I like for athletes, if they normally jump out and turn out a lot, I like them to exaggerate their foot position here just as a, for drill purposes, holding for five to 10 seconds, getting to that deep position. And now 
my body is more prepared and ready to receive in a better position on the last rep. Now, we said before your first two to three sets on barefoot, first three to five warm up sets with a pause above the knee, first three to five warm up sets with a pause squat um, in between your reps. That means that you can mix all these together. That's actually the way that I do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm barefoot for my first two to three warm up sets. I'm also pausing above the knee and I'm also <laughs> pausing in the bottom of the squat. This is endurance work for an Olympic weight. Absolutely. Right? I'm dying over here. <laughs> all right. Well, I think all these tips are going to be excellent for everyone. Guys, these are things that Chad has implemented in my own programming for Olympic weightlifting over, over a year now, and they are excellent. They really help you feel for all the positions that you need to hit so that when it is time to start lifting heavy, getting your shoes on, you're gonna feel that much better. Things are just gonna click that much more. Um, use these tips, try them out. Let us know how you feel in the comment section below. Uh, guys, send these to all your friends, CrossFitters, uh, weightlifters, send these to your buddies. Uh, try this drill out. I promise you these tips can be very, very helpful. So again, Chad, thanks so much for giving us those tips today, guys. Go over, uh, first thing first, follow Chad on YouTube. He's got a ton of great content for you guys. Uh, continue to subscribe to the Squat University channel. We've got a ton of things coming, Chad and I, so be on the lookout for more content. And uh, again, thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. I hope you got something out of it. And until next time, guys, happy squat. They say that energy flows where attention goes so i pay no mind why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos these people have lost